QTP stores object and its properties in object repository to identify them during runtime. An object would have large number of properties associated with it. For example, in web environment, a button could have the following properties associated. If QTP will try and remember all the available properties for an object, size of object repository will bloat and script execution time will increase drastically. To avoid this, QTP by default does not store all the properties of an object but a limited number of typical properties which helps in its unique identification. These settings are stored in object identification. To access object identification, in QTP select tools, object identification. The object identification dialog box opens. It shows you a list of all the environments installed and loaded in QTP. If you select an environment towards the left, Object identification will show you a list of all supported objects for that particular environment. If you select an environment, towards the right, a list of properties which will be recorded for that particular object will be shown. The list of properties are divided into two sections, mandatory properties and assistive properties. Mandatory properties will be stored by default for that particular object. In case during record time, QTP is not able to create a unique identification using the mandatory properties. It will store the assistive properties. To understand this better, consider the example of fin web image. QTP will store values of all text, HTML tag, image type, mandatorily. Even if it can create unique identity using the all property alone. In case it cannot create unique description using the mandatory properties, QTP will store assistive properties. In this case, QTP will store the class property. If this property helps create a unique description of the object, QTP will not store the file name and height property. If the class property is not sufficient to create unique description, QTP will store file name property. If file name property creates a unique description, QTP will not store the height property and so on. Now, suppose during record time, QTP could create unique description using the class property. At runtime, QTP will forget the, the distinction between mandatory and assistive properties and compare all the recorded properties. Even if any one of the properties does not match its stored value, script fails.